In this video, we're going to go over a basic introduction to working with groups and components. Creating groups and components in SketchUp is an essential skill that you have to master to do advanced modeling. Here we have a floor plan with a number of columns spaced out here and there. We're going to use this to demonstrate how groups and components work. Right here I have a column profile and the perimeter of the column and profile. We're going to group these together. What you can do is select all of this then hold down the shift key to add to your selection. We're going to add this profile to the selection. We want to right click make group. Now you can also set this up to a shortcut key making it even faster. And Now it's all grouped together. Now we're going to copy this group in place to where this other column is. So let's go in here and edit this group. And use the follow me tool by selecting this face choosing follow me, choosing my profile, and now I have a column. Now you'll note that only this group was modified. The basic benefit in working with groups is that I can move this around throughout my world space without it becoming entangled in anything else, any of the other geometry. If I was to explode all this, it may take a second to explode. Once it has, we'll see that if I try to move a single piece of this, let's say, see I can't select the column as easily because now it's touching this geometry. So if I try to move this column, it moves the connected geometry as well. And that's where groups are so beneficial. Because I can move this and copy and rotate it and I don't affect the surrounding geometry. So let's back up a few steps. And this time, we're going to make this a component instead of a group. And now we'll use this geometry to create a component. We'll select all the faces that we want to use. Right click, click Make Component. And now we're presented with a dialog box that we can fill out. We'll call this Column. and some options for how the component will behave. We can set the component's axis. We'll just place it here at the corner of the column. And you can set how the component glues to faces. We're going to leave it as none for now. You can set the component to always face the camera. This is useful when you're creating vegetation out of planes. And right here we want to replace the selected faces with this component. So we'll say create. To demonstrate how the component behaves differently than a group, we're going to copy this column component over here and come in and edit it. We'll select these faces use the follow me tool and you'll notice that both columns were edited at the same time. This is particularly useful in any project where you have a lot of repeating geometry be it windows or columns doorknobs 
what have you. It allows you to model at one time and be propagated throughout the scene. Now if you want to do something different with one of these columns, you can right click and say make unique then come in and when you edit this column the changes won't be transferred to the other components and you can see in the outliner these columns are now named with different names to show how different they are. If I go back to before I made it unique, we just have two columns that share the same component data. And now you can copy these columns wherever you need them and a change made on one will be reflected in all of them.